everyone, it's a new day of fun, learning, and discoveries in the world of Science 4. I will be your teacher for today's lesson. I'm Teacher Agnes. You get ready with your ball pen, your notebook, your module, and yourself as we go through another episode of Science Discovery. Do you know the plant that I'm holding? This is a snake plant. Snake plants grow in land. They are examples of terrestrial plants. Celia. Celia or pothos. So this plant is a good example of aquatic or terrestrial plant, meaning they can either grow in land or in water. The last example is water hyacinth. Water hyacinth can only grow in water. For today's lesson, you are going to identify the specialized structure of aquatic and terrestrial plants. Specifically, you are going to identify the plants that live on land and in water. Based from the previous topic that we had, we can say that animals have different body structure in getting, of course, their food and how exactly they protect themselves from their enemies. Just like the animals, if they have this special adaptation in the environment, same is true with the plants. Plants also have this specialized structure on how exactly they can adapt to their environment. But before we proceed in the lesson proper, I'll be asking a few to identify some examples of the names of the plants that I'll be showing you. If you answered mango tree, that's correct. If your answer is oregano, that's correct. The answer is water hyacinth. If you answered all, that means you are great. So there are basically terms that we need to identify or understand as we go along the lesson. The first one is terrestrial plants. When we say terrestrial plants, these are the kinds of plants that grow on land. Second, aquatic plants. So when we say aquatic plants, these are the kinds of plants that grow in water. And last, specialized structure. When we say specialized structure, this is the special parts of the plants that will make them grow better to adapt to the kind of environment that they have. 